Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle, and we're going to carry on with the Dark Goddess Reads for March 2021. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel so we can reach a broader audience. I appreciate and am so grateful to all of my subscribers, and I can't wait to see where we go in this upcoming year. Next up, Pisces. Pisces, remember this is a general read. Cannot, will not resonate with everyone. Flip it, flop it, toss it, turn it, take it any way you want it. But if it doesn't resonate, leave it, and I'll catch you in another video. All right, let's see where your energies are at. Oh, that was fast. Pisces energy, March 2021, Dark Goddess reading. Oh, don't fall. Three more cards, please. Can I get three more cards for Pisces? All right. It says this is how we're doing it. So this is how we're doing it for you, Pisces. In your past energy, you have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So there was some serious pain. Um, the Nine of Swords suggests uh, regret and sleepless nights. The Ten of Swords feels like being completely um, defeated. Completely defeated. Um, I also get the sense that like you fought for something or you are, no, you fought for something and it left you feeling um, kind of like, you know, when you're like, it's like the person was two-faced. So to your face, they were fantastic to you and lovely. And then when they were out with their buddies or whatever, with their girlfriends, they were sitting at a table and, you know, henpecking and bad-mouthing you or telling their buddies, you know, whatever. That's the sense I'm getting, like that betrayal. Um, in your current energy, you got the Four of Swords. So I feel like you're taking time to really rest and, like, meditate and kind of go back to self and, and figure out where you are again mentally. Recover mentally is where I think you're at in the current energy. In your immediate future, you have the uh, chariot and the knight of pentacles. So I feel like you're getting ready to start, kind of start anew. And when you decide to start, to restart and to like rebuild, it's going to happen very, very quickly very quickly your possible outcome is the ace of cups temperance and the devil that's very strange that the temperance and the devil have come out together because i feel like that is very different and like it's the opposite energies right the devil is all about um being obsessive and codependency it speaks to addictions it's like Oftentimes to me, it comes, comes across as like very obsessive and like social media stocky type of energy and temperance is the opposite. It's, it's letting things ride and kind of slowing things down and really evaluating and being very level. So they're opposite energies. This ace of cups though, I feel like that's coming in the energy I'm getting from it is that the possible outcome is you're going to find that person who tempers you, right? It's like finding that perfect opposite, that opposite, opposite attracts. It's like they're going to be your perfect. You're going to feel like when they come in or this offer comes in, whether it's a person, a job, whatever, it's going to complement you so well. And it's going to bring out little aspects of yourself you didn't know were even there. So wherever you fall, if you tend to be, I tend to be very obsessive over things. So like I, I get fixated on certain things and I have to be the best, the strongest, the fastest. It doesn't matter if it's in my personal life, my work life, whatever. I hyper-focus on something until I'm the very best, whether it be 
uh, researching a, a situation or a certain thing um, so that I know everything I can possibly collect just so that I can spew these facts out because I think it's fun. Like I enjoy learning. If it's in a relationship, I tend to um, go in very strong and I want to um, to really be a very strong presence in that person's life. Not because I'm insecure, but because I want to see where it's going. I don't like things to move slowly. So for me, somebody who was very level would be that contrast, right? And vice versa. So I think that that's what this is saying is that this new offer, this new emotional offer, whether it be um, job or whatever, it's going to be the perfect opposite, right? It's going to be the perfect complement to your personality. All right, let's get advice. Advice for Pisces, please. Can I get advice for Pisces, please? Thank you. You got the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands. Their advice is be careful what you're what you fight for, because sometimes you don't realize you're fighting for the wrong thing. Your efforts are being put in the wrong place. That's their advice. All right, and star seed. Star seed for Pisces, please. Thank you. Inner worlds. Your exterior world is a reflection of your in inner world. All right. And your dark goddess, and we're all done. Can I get one dark goddess card for Pisces, please? One card for Pisces. Thank you. All right, and the dark goddess you got is Tiamat, control. So we'll read from the book and then we'll be all done. T. T. <laughs> There we go. Dominant rules supreme, influence di dictates the dream. Heed the warning, our counsel or counsel, renounce this dragon of control by the power of the dark goddess in me, protection in place, blessed be. Dark, goddic, dark goddess foresight. You are more powerful th that you are more powerful than you think. Enforce some authority. Someone is trying to influence you. Walk away from those who do not serve your highest instinct. Reclaim your self-power. Investigate your past lives to heal, feel, to heal fears of persuasion. All right, Pisces, I hope that this meets you with love and light. And until we meet again, blessed be.